Here we have a puzzle designed by Derek Bosch and printed on the 3D printer by Steve Nickel. It's Derek's helical burr. It is so much harder than his helical burr that it's hellish. I'm going to show you now how to disassemble it. It's been beautifully made. There are two outer helical parts, two inner helical parts, although you can't tell that they are helical at the moment. It'll only move in one way to start with. Pushing from the bottom, you can see that these two inner parts will start to turn anti-clockwise for one click, and then they'll move clockwise for another click until they're pointing upwards a little bit. The orange can then come up a bit further, and then this frees up one of these outer helical pieces to slide down that far. Push the lower of the two inner pieces down one click as far as it'll go. Move that outer piece back up and then it will go almost up to the top. The outer piece goes back a bit further and these two will now level off. As you can see, they're now at the same level. If you now turn that blue piece down, it turns them with it, and this orange piece will enter that divot and it remain flush. And that's as far as it will go. This orange diamond that's on the inside piece can fit into a little hole that you can see in there, pushing it up. And that will allow that to come down even further, pulling that with it. At this point, the blue will come down as far as it can. And at this point, it looks like this is almost going to come off, but it won't. Screw that back up as far as you can manage. Push that up until there's enough room to get that piece underneath and screw that blue piece further up. Then push the blue down a bit further and screw further up. That will now allow this to go up as far as it can. And pushing it right the way up, it turns the orange piece as well. And now they're level. Pushing the blue down and then push that orange. Now it looks like we've just backtracked, but we haven't because when I now turn this outer blue piece back up, you can now see that the on inner orange piece has now rotated more or less through 180 degrees from its original starting position. Push it down. As far as it will go. And then rotate down. And that brings the orange with it. That's as far as everything will move. Putting pressure on that orange piece over there, winds the outer blue up and all of a sudden when they come together you can move the orange further. Okay, and then rotate the blue piece further, outer blue piece further up, push the inner blue piece down and down and down. At this point we have two possible endings. As you can see the orange and the blue meet together at a point on the inner side. And that inner piece is level with the outer helical piece. If you put your finger on the blue outer piece and the thumb on there to hold them steady, then what you can do is rotate 
my orange piece off. An alternative, which you may find easier to do, is to push the blue, the orange up, bring the blue down, and then you can just rotate them out from each other. And then you are left with orange and a blue. That's my cat, who's decided he wants to play. And then you have two further pieces. Absolutely beautiful, stunningly made. Thank you, Derek.